In honor of the Rugrats movie releasing 23 years ago today, we are counting down the wackiest, stickiest, and craziest toys and collectibles of Nickelodeon. Number 10. Fidget spinners hit the toy market for alternative ways to keep kids and adults more focused and engaged. While the fidget spinner fad was short-lived, the 2017 boom was nothing compared to 1981. Like Silly Putty and Play-Doh before it, Tangled Creations began as something completely different. In this case, art. This creation had different configurations that players can twist into and different versions to keep it fascinating. In 1983, a toy company, Tommy, licensed Tangled as the Infinite Structural Puzzle. In 1995, Mattel developed Tangled into a construction brand called the Nickelodeon Tangled Snap and Swizzle Building System. Sets including creatures and things, walkers and things, wigglers and things. Hey, here's the plan. Start snapping. Excitement is building over McDonald's Nickelodeon Tangled Happy Meal. Promotional ramp up in 1996 included a $7 million in TV advertising and also a deal with McDonald's. They put Nickelodeon Tangled Buildazoids in 40 million Happy Meals. But soon after the line failed to perform at retail and was off the market in a matter of months. Number 9. During the 90s there was plenty of toys that were nasty, sticky, and slimy. Which made your parents rethink giving you the gift because of the horrible mess it would create around the house. But the most popular compound was the product that was inspired by Nickelodeon's show Double Dare. Manufactured in 1992 and then reissued in 1994, Nickelodeon Gak was made. What is Gak? Gak is great! It was marketed on the fact that unlike most compounds, it made a fart noise when squeezed. The name Gak has been previously used by Mark Summers and the Double Dare crew to reference the slime used on the show. The name had originated from a street term of heroin, this was a source of amusement behind the scenes of Double Dare when Nickelodeon used the term for the toy gack, unaware of the drug culture. Number 8. With so many hits of the 90s, Nickelodeon never stopped pumping out cartoons. Their most popular Nicktoon was Rugrats. So in 2000, a movie was being made, Rugrats in Paris. To promote this film, the babies crawled into Burger King with themed toys. There were eight connectable toys that turned into Euro Reptar Land. Customers could also purchase four exclusive Rugrats chat back watches. These watches were designed in bright, vibrant colors, and when activated, the Rugrats character would talk, speaking phrases from the movie. Each watch featured a conversation between the two different Rugrat characters. This made customers buy two of them. Number seven. At this time, Nickelodeon was everywhere and everything from phones to slimy substances to radios. So in 1997, the developers at Long Haul Technologies created Kids Cameras, which has the useful feature of being able to take four images on a 35 millimeter roll of film. The Nickelodeon Photo Blaster was manufactured and was sold for $40 retail. They then stopped in 1999, right before the holidays. Today, this collectible is somewhat hard to find and is kind of a photography collector's item. Number six. During this time, kids and teens were answering the phone to the sound of a moo. When Long Haul Technologies and Nickelodeon released the first ever Talk Blaster telephone. In addition to the regular ring, the Talk Blaster can be set to a cow's moo, a honk bell, or the famous Nickelodeon theme song. Nick, 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 Nickelodeon! The Talk Blaster was in the latest line including the Blast Pack, Personal Cassette Player, the Galculator, and the most popular in the line was the Time Blaster Digital Clock. Since novelty telephones typically have proven to be poor sellers, Long Haul didn't plan on selling this for much long. But to their surprise, this is one of the most popular toys in their collection. I was wondering, can I have your number? Number 5. Anyone who loves 90s Nickelodeon will remember this thing. They ran commercials for quite a bit, and I'm pretty sure it was the prize on Double Dare just about every time. The Time Blaster alarm clock was a huge hit with the kids. The green squiggle lights up and you could set the alarm to different noises. From a marching band to the famous Nickelodeon jingle. The big red snooze button is large enough to slap it when you're half asleep. It also had a radio built in with a dial on the right. This was a fun way to start your day right before school. Number 4. The flash screen was a very popular toy when it first released in 1994. It was meant to play in a dark room and included a white glow-in-the-dark poster with a two-in-one zapper with a flashlight button. This toy was eventually cancelled because of health hazards, which caused seizures due to the flashing light bulb. Number 3. Our Real Monsters debuted in October of 1994. It was Nickelodeon's fifth original animated series of Nicktoons. The show revolved around the daily lives of three young monsters. 
With the success of the show, a toy line was made that was packed with imaginative creatures in a surprisingly vivid world of garbage, sewage, and slime. Never before seen characters can be quite hard to handle, but Mattel was up for the challenge. And before they purchased the rights to this marvelous idea, they were faced with the question of how to sell these toys. Overnight, Mattel whipped out some additional items based on the real monsters. Their toy line included reversible monsters and squirt monsters, as well as the original three main characters. These toys were a huge hit of the 90s, and every kid wanted them. It's so much fun! It's scary! Number 2. Everyone remembers going to Blockbuster to pick out their favorite movie on a Friday night. By doing a quick scan down the aisle, all the movies tend to look the same. But then suddenly you spot a bright orange VHS case, with that orange tape inside, and you know it's a Nickelodeon film. At this time, Nickelodeon produced over 36 feature films, with many successful including the Spongebob movie, Harry the Spy, Good Burger, the Rugrats movie, Jimmy Neutron, and Rugrats Go to Paris. Number 1. These toys are my favorite. In the mid-1990s, Mattel acquired the license to produce Nickelodeon toys and figures. Although the show had been airing since 1991 and is Nickelodeon's number one rated show, they proceeded with caution in developing licensed material for the show. So in 1997, Mattel developed a toy line. This consisted of 3-inch figures with limited articulation and plush figures. But out of all the Rugrats toys, my favorite was the Talking Tommy and Spike. He was such a cool toy, he had over a thousand phrases and was super cute. I had these two toys when I was little, and I remember watching Rugrats every Saturday with a bowl of cereal and my two stuffed animals on my lap. Comment your favorite Nickelodeon show, and be sure to check out our website for our Nickelodeon-themed orange box.